What's up guys, it's Bucky. Welcome to your 19th tutorial in Java. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over something called an else if statement. Now what an else if statement is, is pretty much a way of giving Java many options. So in our last tutorial, I showed you guys how to build an if statement such as this one, where we had a condition which if age was greater than 60, then we want you to do something like system out print line. I can copy that so I don't have to keep typing it. So if it's over 60, say you are a senior citizen. Let me type it right. There we go. So if statement allows you to do give it one option. We also have something called else, which gives it another option. Say else if it's less than 60, you are a young buck. And when we run this, make sure we don't got any errors. It says you are a young buck. So again, a simple if statement, what this allows you to do is give it one option and an alternative option. But there's a way where you can do more than just two options. And you do this by in the middle of if and else, you add something called a else if. And what this is, is pretty much a third option. So let's say, all right, if age is greater than 60, print this. Actually, let's put greater or equal to. Else, if age is greater or equal to 50, we want you to print, you are in your 50s. And we can have as many of these else if statements as we want. So unlike last time where we only had one alternative, it tests to see if age is equal or where it stands in many different tests. So if it's greater than 60, do this. And if it's not greater than 60, then it must be less than 60. So else if it's less than greater than 50, do this. And we can do this all the way down. Actually, let's go ahead and just copy that, save us some time. Copy and paste and this changes to 40 and 40s. So let me uh, put 45 and I'll show you guys why this does this. Go ahead and put run and it says you are in your 40s. So here's what it did. It can only do one of these things. So here's what it does. The first thing it does and remember our age is 45 it says alright is age greater or equal to 60? Nope, it's less. So I'm not doing this. Is age greater or equal to 50? Nope, it's not. So I'm not doing this. Is age greater or equal to 40? Yes, it is greater than 40. So I am doing this. You are in your 40s. So that's why it outputted you are in your 40s. And again, uh, whenever you use the if statement, as soon as it finds its answer, it exits the whole thing. So it can only do this, 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 or this. And since it did this one, since age was greater than 40, there was no need to go to the else because it already found its answer. So that's how you can give a variable many tests using an if, excuse me, an if, else, if, else statement. Again, the if is the main test, and the else, if statements are alternative tests if these previous tests are false. So it's pretty much is just a way to give it a bunch of different options when testing the same variable or you can even test different variables if you want to be dumb. But um, that's your basic tutorial on an else if statement and how to use it in Java programming. Again, it's called else if and it goes in between the if and else to give it more options. So in the next couple of tutorials, I'll probably be clearing this up later and showing you guys why it's actually useful in applications. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys the basics of it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out all my other videos. So again, thank you, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.